Hey, wedding photographers. If you've ever been like, should I put in my portfolio? Should I not put in my portfolio? I love this part, but this part of the wedding was cringe and this part was technically all off the charts, but this part was amazing. We're gonna talk about how to curate your wedding portfolio, all of those confusing things, all of those business strategies and tactics in this video. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Samia. I'm a wedding photographer and I make these kinds of videos for other wedding photographers. So feel free to subscribe so we can become friends on YouTube. Okay, so the very first thing we need to address is the elephant in the room, which is the portfolio structure. So I use Show It for my business and I have other videos here on YouTube about using Show It. But in terms of when someone comes to your website, there are really two structures I think you can go around, go about for your portfolio. And I'm not talking about a blog or a live feed of you know, content, I'm talking about your official portfolio on your website, the stat static content. So there are two ways I think you could do this. Um, one is you have one big gallery and it's a mashup of all different parts of a wedding. Maybe it's like a hundred images, maybe it's 50 images. You could do that. Or what I have found most success with, which is my advice for this video, is to uh, split it up into six weddings. So sm six very small wedding galleries of 30 to 50 images. So the reason I say that is because I found it to be converting a lot higher. So let's go to photo on my website and I will show you an example. This is what I'm talking about. So I have six full, full, they're, they're curated 30 to 50 images weddings. Um, and I'm just going to click on one of them. And it has, like I said, 30 to 50 images of the wedding. And the other option I was saying you could do is just have one gallery like this that is all the different weddings mixed up together. So my high recommendation is to, for the structure of your portfolio, have six of these. Um, and then we'll talk about curating the six of them. Okay, so how do you decide what those six weddings are? So the very first thing I think you should consider is, the, there's three questions I think that go into this, but the very first one is, is this something you would want to be shooting in five years? And I talk about this in other videos as well, but basically if you don't know the answer to that question, you probably need a little bit more exposure to the wedding industry and figuring out what it is you like to shoot and what inspires you as an artist. I've, over the years, you know, been to weddings where I'm like, this isn't really my thing. And then I've been to weddings where like, I could be here for days and just be doing this. Um, so you know what lights you up as an artist. And if you start to craft a visual a vision board, a Pinterest board of a vision of what you wanna be shooting, you'll start to understand what it is you should be showcasing that matches. So the very first question to consider is, is this something that is going to benefit me in the long term of my business? And in five years, is it something I would like to be shooting? And that is how you make sure your portfolio is the highest level that it possibly can with your work. So my second question for you, which is equally as important to the first question, these two things go hand in hand, and it is, is it full and complete? So that means that you know what your skill sets are for a wedding, and maybe your skill sets are in three, I would say three or four areas of a wedding day. So are they in flat lays? Are they in get the bride getting ready? Are they in the ceremony, guest reactions, dance floor footage? You know, which of those areas is really something that you're like, this is what I want my brand to stand for? And maybe some of those you're like, I don't really care about details and I don't want my brand to be reflective of fancy details. So is it full and complete for what you want your brand to stand for is the second most important thing. So those two together, um, is it full and co like comprehensive about showing of your potential client? It's your ideal client in the world found just that one gallery in your portfolio and maybe they were your ideal client. So they want you to shoot, you know, details, or I'm just saying that's an example, and that's your favorite thing, but that wedding didn't have any details, then that is creating a mismatch. So is it both something you want to be shooting in five years and also complete a complete thorough showcase of what you do start to finish for each wedding client? So those two things go hand in hand. And then the third thing I think to consider is, is it a technical standpoint a good wedding to showcase. So from start to finish, did you kind of, did you technically, you know, was your best technical work in terms of flash, exposure, you know, things in focus? So I think the first two things are first. So, and if they answer yes, yes, make sure that it's also good from a technical standpoint because you know your work. And if there was something kind of off about that wedding, but it was what you want to shoot in five years and it was complete, but technically you were struggling with some part or some focus or some flash, um, then it's not your best work. It's still not your best work, even though it answers those first two questions. So that would be the third thing to consider. And if it is a yes, 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 then it is definitely something that should be in your portfolio.
So I do really like nerd out about this topic. So if you have a photography website where you would like me to vet your website and you're comfortable with me making a YouTube video of a critique of your website or your portfolio, please leave your website down below because I'm looking to make one of those videos soon. Um, so I would just go through and make sure that it makes sense to the ideal client and look at your portfolio and see how you are curating these images. So feel free to leave your website in the comments and maybe I will pick it to do another video, but make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already and I will see you later here on YouTube.